Hey people, I'm Jacob and like many of you, I love creating. But sometimes coming up with ideas for art can be hard. I've been asked by a bunch of you how I come up with subject matter for my artwork. So in this video, I'm gonna share how I pretty much never run out of art ideas anymore. For me, being an artist means being able to create your own ideal reality which is a pretty cool thing to be able to do. So for example, right now it's winter and I long to feel warm, free in my body without the constraints of many layers of clothes. I would love to feel a warm wind rushing past me as I ride a horse in the desert somewhere or be in the warm water in some tropical country. Ask yourself, what would be my ideal life right now? Where would I be? What would I do? How would I look? Would I be an animal? Who embodies this scenario the best? And from those idealistic desires, I start to get visions in my head that excite me to create possible artwork. And you can't tell me you can't answer these questions because there's always something that we desire and long for, even if it's literally just sleeping. And you also can't tell me you don't want to subscribe right now. If you're not already, this is probably the moment where you're like, I want to subscribe right now. So subscribe right now. <laughs> and from this space, it's easy to start creating. But before you do, look at reference, gather reference. We live in this amazing world full of art, whether it's actual art from artists or your surroundings like the texture of a blanket or the way the morning light is hitting your grandmother's hair in the garden. What are artworks or moments that make you go, how do I make this mine? How do I make this a part of me, my life? Okay, so when you have gone inside of yourself and understood your desires, you have lived your life, whether it's looking at other people's artwork or going for a walk, that is when you're going to be able to make art that is gonna make you feel good. It's mesmerizing for you to look at and it's unique and personalized to your own human experience. Or if you're an alien watching this, this applies to you too, your own unique alien experience. Cars! And these are ideas of art that you literally cannot wait to do, to put into practice, to draw, to paint. And once you're going down this path of creating art, the snowball effect will happen. Because each thing you do will spark another idea in your head. An example for me is I did this painting in 2021, which is inspired by a song that I heard and starting to study animation in college. So the kind of perspective came from college and the vision came from the song. And because I love that painting so much, I was like, I want to paint more people in forced perspective. So I created this painting, which I then was like, oh, I'd love to do this in different skin colors, which made me create this painting. And when I did it, I was like, these kind of look like chocolates, which made me want to make it even more obvious, which made me create this painting where I put the guy in a little chocolate box. And here again, I lived my life. I looked at chocolate boxes and I was like, they're so cute. Every little chocolate has their own little home. And I created this. So this is how I come up with my ideas. And even if you hit a dead end again where you don't know what to create, you just start this exercise from the beginning again because there's always something that your heart desires that you want. And before I go, you should leave a comment and subscribe. And one last cool thing. All of this exercise is manifestation, by the way. So by creating the things that you like, people will start to associate you with them. So when they see those things, they will bring them to you and your life will start to reflect the art that you make. Bring me chocolates. <laughs> That's one of the wonderful things about being an artist. You have a true gift and I'm so blessed to be on this journey with you. I'll see you in the next video. Can we take a second to appreciate the hair? I wanted this hairstyle for so long and I never cut it in the right way, but now I did. Yay! Actually, my boyfriend did. Yay! <laughs>